Hello, everybody. Good evening. This is a night session for us. Yes. I am Dom. I am Jamie. And welcome back to the cutting room floor. Today, we got a new film for you guys. A newer, a newer film. Yes. Um, big, big, buzzy film over the last uh, about six months. Been talked about a lot. Oscar winning film. Best visual effects. Godzilla minus one, 2023. Um, as y'all know, everybody's heard about this film. It's famous for its visuals and its storytelling, and everybody seems to really take to this film. And you know, they're saying it's the best Godzilla movie not, we've had in a while. Not everybody. Not everyone. <laughs> not everyone. <laughs> okay. And I think our friend Mr. Jamie is referring to me. Yeah, I now, might be. I let might be. me say this before we even get into it. I didn't hate this movie. No, he. Did I not. enjoyed the film for what it was, but I have criticisms and i didn't think it was as great as everyone else but we will get into that and maybe by the end jamie will change my mind hey maybe because that happens you know that happens a lot we we'll watch something (laughs) and then we'll talk about you know what wasn't that bad yeah yeah so this film on rotten tomatoes has a 98 percent really yeah imdb an 8.3 big scores and Letterbox a four point two. So we this is across the board, a uh, critical and fan favorite. They're loving it, and I I am very happy that this movie saw the success it did. I'm very happy for that. We need that. We need films like this to have this kind of success. Whether I loved it or hated it, I'm very happy that it did the numbers it did and got the recognition it did. So Jamie, you love this film. Tell us why you love it. I. I love this film because it was different. It was. It was. It was very different. It's the story of a guy with PTSD and and watching it and rewatching it. I don't think his PTSD is actually from the war. I don't think it is either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it, he's he experiences something he can't talk about and no one else can really understand except for one other person. Mm-hmm. And he pushes everyone away while still trying to keep like a found family together. And it's just kind of wild and crazy. And there's something really human about it. And and I know that sounds weird because you, you were just saying before you started recording, you're like, I hate the story. Well, I th- hate- <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. The, the it's, acting sucks. It's no, no, the lead. The, the lead actor is not great. Well, I will say that he's well, not great. Well, see, he's a pilot, right? Uh-huh. So I think he went to the Brie Larson Captain Marvel school. He definitely acting. did. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So he, he has to be that like stoic, like standoffish, whatever. Like he can't be emotional, but also he's Japanese. He had some melodramatic ass parts, though. Oh, totally, I was totally. Like, oh, my God. Totally. He, he was a whiny bitch. He definitely parts. was yes, in a yes. lot of parts. My favorite character was, um, yes. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, yeah. He was awesome. Great. He was definitely yeah. my favorite character. And the young kid. The kid. Yes, kid, yeah. the, the one they called Kid. Yeah, because uh, like, he was still green. Yeah, because it's like you have like Doc, the captain, and the kid. Mm-hmm. And uh, Koichi, I think his name I is. Think that is was the, it. the pilot. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the woman and the baby and the neighbor. The that neighbor. That's basically it. Yeah, and the neighbor was driving me crazy, bro. She was well, such a bitch. Well, see, okay, what... How about what what didn't you like about the film? Okay, this the what I didn't like about it was all the times we weren't seeing Godzilla. Really? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. no, my main no. Seriously, no. In all seriousness, yeah, I think the film had a heartbeat that had no other Godzilla movie I've seen has, yes. and I have to admit that I do. I will say. This is a probably a top three Godzilla adaptation. Have you seen you know. Godzilla from the original from fifty four? No. Oh, I've never watched it. I it hear seems, it's incredible. It seems like your type it. of movie because it's you know, it's Japanese. Because mm-hmm. Godzilla King of the Monsters from fifty six is just the same film with Raymond Burr edited in for American <laughs> audiences. So suddenly he's there like just talking to people from the first <laughs> film and but they have like they're back to him as they're talking to him because you know it's not them. No, like because two years later they added this. Uh, feels this, like a news anchor, dude. huh? Yeah, that's what he is. <laughs> yeah, it feels like a news anchor. He's an ooze, uh, an ooze anchor. Jeez, I can't even talk. A news anchor named Steve Martin. Okay, believe it or not, in 1956, and he's in Japan. Okay, so he just happened to be there, and they didn't show it in 54. Wow, you know, so he's like, 
Emiko at this one part, and she's like, "Oh, see my, you know, it's because the voices are terrible. Because it's fifty six, you know what I mean? It's just awful." And then she walks over to him and talks to him, but it's just the back of her head, and you're like, and the camera changes. They didn't even bother to use the same type of camera. It's so frustrating. But Yo. this film is actually takes a lot of the uh, locations and the ideas from the original Godzilla film. Mm. Only, you know, it's a few years before. So mm-hmm. it's it's like a prequel, but it still pays homage to the film that started the entire Godzilla juggernaut. Yep. I'll say this. The first scene had me excited. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. The opening scene is incredible. Yeah. I was like, oh, this shit is hard. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is about to be hard. And then it starts getting into the story. And you're like, wait, this is about people. Yeah, when he gets back to, like, his hometown. Yeah. And it's in complete ruins. And then his neighbor's shaming him. Yeah. And everyone's just like. Well, make... it's all about honor. That's the society. Yeah, and you know how they are in Japan. Yeah, like, I've yeah. watched tons of old Japanese film. Honor is everything. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, woman, switch places with this motherfucker and tell me how you go about well, things. Well, well, see, the thing is with her, she's like, her in her mind, she because he's a kamikaze pilot mm-hmm. who was a coward so yeah, he, pretends... he should be dead she's like you're supposed to be dead yeah yeah so it's like he pretends his plane is fucked up so he can go to odo island to get it fixed and that's when things get really fucked up yeah. but but you know so he gets back and she's like why are you alive if you would have done your fucking job my kids would be alive yeah and she but puts that what? on a soldier she puts all the fate of everything on one, one dude. dude yeah and one that's dude. why i didn't like i'm like bro why are everybody making this dude out to be some terrible asshole yeah, yeah, he clearly smart as hell yeah you he, know he definitely knew what he was doing and he was apparently a great pilot because even mm-hmm. the mechanics like i remember you you're fantastic yep they're like you're the guy and and that other mechanic is like i'm with you buddy i understand because why are they sending us off to die when we already know the outcome mm-hmm. or, or or why do they say there's honor in death, I guess, when we already know. We we're know just it's gonna, fucked. Yeah. It's, it's like, it's like, bro, you're just sending us out just for the fuck of it. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. it feels like. Yeah. And, and I hate how everyone just blames him for everything and puts yeah. everything on his shoulders. Like, right at the beginning, are right, you jump in your plane and shoot those bullets at him. Yeah, and he's and like. And he's like, I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, and look so at he this dinosaur. Shoot. Yeah. And so they're shooting. And it clearly is not doing shit to him. And they're like, well, if you would have just fucking shot, yeah. we wouldn't be in this situation. Your 20 millimeter nope. rounds. Were He'd done. be dead too. That's yeah. the only difference. Yeah, You'd you have saw, another dead guy. Yeah, you saw when he ate the plane. I would have been in the plane when he yeah, ate it. I'd like, yeah, uh, I'd be like, yeah, bro, totally. If I would have just shot them 20 mils at him, it would have been game over. Yeah. I would have saved the day. And we would have never had to deal with this guy again. Even though he can regenerate. Yeah, um, but see, they didn't know that. They didn't that know point, that. Yeah. Which, I mean... It, it, that's one thing that was my issue with the story it had this melodrama feel to it that i don't think was needed for this like everyone is like jumping on this dude's back yeah. everyone's making him feel like crap then he meets this girl he says all right come over no he don't even say come over she, she just, just comes in she just follows she him. just follows him she's comes like oh in. you didn't abandon this baby yeah so- you won't kick us out. Yeah. Because you have no balls. It, none. None. <laughs> he had no nuts. And yeah. he's like, she's like, he's like, all right, you can, you can chill there, but you can't sleep here. Two minutes later, this bitch sleep. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, that's right. That's right. I'm like, bro, uh, I'll wake her ass up and now you got to get the fuck out. You and that kid. And yeah. guys, don't listen to me thinking I'm a heartless ass. No. It's this guy's in the movie. Yes. This guy's house ain't even got a roof. Yeah, I'm like, Yo, yeah, yeah cause every, his parents are dead. <laughs> yeah, everybody's every, dead. The it, whole town is yeah. rubble. And that's <laughs> that's what I think was brilliant about this film. It showed the Japanese side of rebuilding yes. after World War II. Yes, that is another aspect I appreciate. That's yeah. what, like there is a lot of things to like about this yeah. film. The historical context. Yeah, there. it's like Titanic. It, you take a historical thing and make a fantasy movie about Truthfully, it. Truthfully, this movie is very comparable to Titanic yeah, and how if, I felt about it. I think it's I think it's a Jaws. decent film. Jaws is 100 times better than both of these. But, but but I'm saying some scenes. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like in Titanic, this is a film about a ship, honestly. But yeah. We added all this other crap in it and it's kind of taken away from the main thing we're yeah. supposed to be focusing on is the damn ship. Yeah, yeah and that, right. And that was one of my problems with minus 1. It's like I want I came here for Godzilla. Yeah. I ain't come here to see this weird 
like odd adopted marriage child <laughs> thing. This kid ain't even this chick's. Yeah, she's, she just bought that baby cash on the corner. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, it was given Yo, to her. She was like, somebody was like, here, here you go. Well, well, that okay. was her story. Yeah, you're right. You, you don't even know. She might have. Bro, she out. she could have shot somebody and stole the kid. Who knows? Maybe that's why the cops were chasing. They her. were chasing, bro. She was getting, and then he gonna stop him. But yeah. I'll be like, you know, if it was me, I keep looking at the fruit stand. Yeah, whatever the hell he was looking at. <laughs> yeah, she was like, ah, ah. And another thing. All this time goes by, he start like so he gets a job yes. um detonating the lamb or the sea mines that yes. are out in the water. And he's very good at it because, you know, they're like, All right, you gotta shoot it right and the dude's like, Let me show you how it's done. He fucking sucks. Oh, and yeah, then this yeah. kid jumps on and does it right away. And yeah. they're like, clearly he's good at what he does. But all this time goes by. He starts stacking money, he's yes. taking care of the kid, taking care of the wife. But you look at the town. The house is getting nicer, but the town is still just as fucked yeah. up as it was when we started. I think it's because he had a good government job and probably no one else really did. But no. why wouldn't he move? Where was the, that's what I was like, bro, leave this place. Yeah. That's what I was like, I'm Because they're what, Ginza. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I'm not coming home to this every day. And I have money to not. Like, if I have money to live somewhere else, I'm going to do it. There was yeah. literally, there's, dude, this whole town literally looks like uh, if this town looked like this i couldn't imagine what hiroshima looked like oh, you know well, what i'm saying like, well, i think i think we can imagine what well, hiroshima we can. Looked like. i'm just yeah. like i mean especially after seeing godzilla's heat godzilla, bro godzilla's heat breath dude that was that incredible shit was bad ass i was like holy shit and i i wanted to see it more because yeah. well, i think we got it what three times in the movie i think so i yeah. think it was three and i, I was believe like, yeah i want right. to see it like five or six man because that was like an atomic blast so, it like, was bro he leveled that town oh bro. my god that like oh that and that's when like i was expecting a little bit more action especially with how people were talking up godzilla the visual effects and everything yeah. i was expecting like a very split 50 50 action versus story where it was really about was 80 like, 20 maybe yeah. and and that could have been because of the budget it was only oh, of like course and that and and i thought about that too i'm like yeah I think it. I think it ended up being maybe around fifteen. Don't quote me. Yeah, it was under twenty for sure. Yeah, it was no more than fifteen. It was, it was probably between, twelve. It was yeah, probably about something 12. like that. So Which was, for making this movie for twelve yeah. million, you guys get every goal. You get the whole pack of gold stars. Yeah, you get, <laughs> and yes. I love them at the Oscars. And they won. And oh yeah, all, the whole team came up with their toys and. It felt very Japanese, and I love Japanese culture, so I thought that was fucking awesome. I love their speeches, even though they, they hit them with the wrap it up box. But yeah, because like, but, yeah. but, the one dude, you know, he was trying to get his English down, and he's like, "Okay, I got this." <laughs> so it took him a minute, but you yeah, know, yeah. they they you could tell they had a blast making this film. You could tell they they poured their everybody on that team poured their hearts in this film, and I respect them, Ike. The film isn't going to get an A from me, but the team gets an A plus because they they really did make something special here. And I ha we got to appreciate them as Americans because they're forcing our country's filmmakers to do something. Yeah, yeah. Because these films from overseas the last few years, we're getting high, high quality films from other countries that are knocking the pants off of us, dude. And I'm like, well, guys. They, they pretty much proved, was it Cord Jefferson at the Oscars? Yeah, said? when he said, let's yeah. make, instead of spending 200 mil on one, like, let's make 10, you know, 20, 20 million dollar yeah. movies. You know what I'm saying? Or 20, 10 million dollar yeah. movies. You can make 20 Godzilla minus ones. Right. For, for that. For the, for the price of one yeah. Ant-Man. Yeah. And, uh, and, the, and, and bro, you, you'll probably make way more money. And you'll have... Uh, It'll be more rewarding than Quantum Mania. That's Absolutely. all I can say. I, Absolutely, I hate to say it. You know, and I was just floored by what these guys did with the effects and the all. I I didn't like all the moments where he wasn't with the crew when he was oh, with the yeah, crew. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah, it was yeah, fun. yeah. It was the funny. guys we were talking about, yes. Doc and the captain. Yes, the, and the crew kid. was fun. Yeah, but every time he went home, I'm like, uh, but see, they go. got tighter after they saw Godzilla. Yes, once they saw the. And, and like plus, that first Godzilla scene when they mutated. first see him in the water, bro, yeah, God, that's when like every scene with Godzilla is fire, cause like yeah. that's when like I couldn't give like on Letterbox, I personally gave it a three and a half out of five stars, which is not a bad score. 
I had to give it its respect because it deserves it. Yeah. I don't hate this film by any means. I don't love it as much as I wanted to or some other people, but I still think it's good. And I think it was very effective in its mi- minimalism. And like you said, the budget, they they were probably, we wanted to show Godzilla more, yeah. but we had 30 bucks left, you know? Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> like, it. So and... we went to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's it's a... So so you didn't like the human part of the story? No, it, it, I didn't or, hate. I, it's, or, it was like, bro, okay, when, it's a the, girl, piece, when the girl saves him... Oh yeah, when she, she shoves him in the alley, and then dude, dude, dude when I first saw is that, lame as fuck. But you know but it. see, when <laughs> I first saw it, and I assumed she was dead. We all did. I was just like, oh fuck, because look at the way she gets blown away. Bro, it kind of blew me away. It blew me away. Yeah, but I was like, okay, that's corny the way she saved him. But if she died, that's gangster. Yeah, she comes <laughs> back when she when they're like, bro. As soon as that chick was like, gave I him that know, letter, yeah. I was like, yeah, this bitch is still alive. And it's going to suck all the real emotion out this film. But no, no, because if you think about it, it starts off, everyone hates uh, Koichi. I, I can't remember. His, it's like Shima. Shoujibu. It don't yeah, matter. Yeah. <laughs> the pilot. Yes. We'll call everyone him hates him because he's a coward. He dishonored his family. Who's all dead anyway. Mm-hmm. So they kind of dishonored him by not living. Mm-hmm. And he has the weight of the world on his shoulders like we were talking about. Even uh, the mechanic, the only other survivor from Odo Island, hates his guts. Yep, hates him. And, you know, he's trying to figure out who he is and how to move forward after what he saw. Yep, and I think he would have did better with that, minus the chick and him raising this child on his own. He would have learned so much more about himself and became a far stronger person. He would have, but he is too stubborn. So he's using them to distract himself from dealing with his real issues. That is very true. Yeah. That is true. Because he his whole thing was like, oh, I got these two people in my life. Yeah. Now they're my focus. I don't have to focus on me. Yeah, yeah. Everything I, I do is for yeah. them. And I'm like, that's fine. But her dying would have forced him to deal with himself and that's character growth so in godzilla minus two or whatever the fuck they're gonna what? call the sequel <laughs> plus one uh, plus one I, yeah i don't know <laughs> like i don't know whatever they're gonna call the sequel then this guy is gonna have to face those demons yeah. and really grow as a person and i'm like how cliche and like well by lame the end, is that to bring her back like but, that? well by the end because he realized that he he was a coward in every way because he wanted to marry her. He wanted to whatever. But is he, he a coward that really jumps in a plane and goes off to war? What? What? Because well, I no. wouldn't fucking do it. Well, well, no. I mean, by the the standards of everyone else in the film. Yeah. Because even the captain was like, "Marry her." Y- yeah, yeah. And you should have asked her when you she was alive. Should have asked her when she was alive. He, yeah, yeah. He's like, "You fucked up." I'm like, guess what? If she still would have died, then I'd be a widow, man. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but then you know, and then he's on the 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 receiver with him. When he's in the plane, he's like, if you leave uh, Akiko, the little baby, mm-hmm. if you leave her, I will kill you. Now, that <laughs> I agree. At this point, bro, you're her dad. You got to yeah, stay yeah. now. I'm like, you made the – because I'm like, listen, his decision came down to it in that house that first day. Let him go then. Or keep him forever. Yeah. And he made, he just chose to keep him forever. And yeah. it's like, in this situation, I get it. You don't have anybody. Everything sucks. Yeah. But to me, like – at first, I'm like, as it went on and like they started getting more money and things, I'm like, okay, they're dating. This is a relationship, sort of, yeah. But then I, it's like they're she's not. talking like, well, I have to do my own thing, and yeah. you go do you, and I'll do me. I'm gonna go get a job. Well, and- see, if she wouldn't have done that because he was making enough money, obviously, mm-hmm. she wouldn't have been on that train. She wouldn't have, and then she wouldn't have put herself in that position. And let's keep it real, she would have died on that train as soon as Godzilla hit, bro. Oh, Everybody yeah. else fell. She's yeah. Suddenly, she's Arnold Schwarzenegger could hold herself <laughs> up and shit. But at first, she's just holding on to the holding seat. on to the like, seat. I'm like this 120 <laughs> pound girl. If this, that, if that, all yeah. these grown men couldn't hold on. No, I mean, she could hold on. Yeah. And she's got a grip. I'm and like, this leather, on, man. Bro. This leather is that's that's real leather. That's yeah. genuine. You know, yeah. Like, uh. I was like, bro. Oh, yeah, you're right. On. Then she's holding then on. Then she's holding the on to the side. She like lets she's go. Andrew Garfield, yeah, the Amazing yeah. Spider Man. I'm like, yeah, bro. And, and she she chooses to let go. Yeah, you know, over the she, water. Well, she had to, but yeah, it's like, bro, you're telling me this girl. She was she like she was ready to do 20 pull ups. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, 
You ain't convinced this girl would have died with the rest of them. Yeah, he would have right. been on the news reading the casualties list. Like, oh, there it is. There she goes. I knew it. That's right. She was coming home. She she was. Was. That's what I'm like. Yeah. There's a lot of cheesy shit in the plot that's just very unrealistic. And this movie, the way it starts, it gives you this this real like like gritty, rough feel. And then they kind of kill a lot of it with this popcorn flick shit. <laughs> Tell me, bro. Yeah, you're right. You're her right. coming back, her surviving and all. Bro, that is some shit we would see in a Marvel movie today in America. You're right. You know what right. it is. Yeah. Like, and maybe maybe that's what, uh, what is it, like, Toei, like, the, the company that owns mm-hmm. Godzilla, maybe that's what they want. Maybe they want. They, they probably, like, we want Americans to come and watch Godzilla. Yeah. And there there are obviously Americans who love the Japanese Godzilla, mm-hmm. but with the Warner Brothers movies, it's not this Godzilla. No, no. And this is definitely the best version of Godzilla oh, yeah. I've seen because, dude, his look was badass when he was like, when he would like charge up to shoot the heat. Oh, yeah. And with the, the way his like spikes would light yeah, up and, and then like That's come up. And, yeah, 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 I'm like, dude. Bro, when he's in the water, it's like a countdown. Yeah, 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 that's pretty much what it yeah. is. It's like, but when he's in the water, bro, and they're trying to hit him, and that motherfucker comes out. Oh, I'm like, God. yo, how and you, small? yeah, you see his head. Bobbing. Yeah, I'm like, oh, oh my god, <laughs> yeah. and they keep shooting at him. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, this shit clearly ain't working. We do need more scenes like that. I that's do agree, what, dude. That's what I was like, go. Is that, just that chase scene. That's what reminded me of like Jaws. Mm-hmm. I kept thinking they need a bigger boat. They need a bigger boat. <laughs> yes, bro. Yeah. What was the Jaws? Uh, the boat. The SS what? On the uh the uh Robert Shaw's boat. What was uh, it called in Jaws? Dude, it's been so long. It started since with I've a, seen it. it. Started with a O. Oh, orca. Oh. Or, uh, the orca, yeah, 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 the orca, whatever the big ass whale is. Yeah, it um, is the orca. Yeah, yeah, it's the orca. They needed something way bigger than that. Is that bro? They're on that. They're looking back. Oh my god. Yeah, that's yes. what, dude. That's what I'm like. When Godzilla was on the screen, the movie's a ten out of ten. Yeah, you know. But then once he once you know he leaves, you're, you're just craving him. I was just craving. They te- they gave him to you right at the beginning. Yeah. So you're like, oh, I just want oh, more. And dude, just the saliva between his teeth when he like roar. Yo, I was like, what? That's the- what I was like. Bro, I'm like, this shit looking like Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looked like. Oh, that is what it looked like. Shit like Jurassic Park, yeah. dude, like the T-Rex. Yeah. When they when they got the Jeep by him. Yeah. And he's like, oh, that's yeah. exactly what reminded me of. Because let's keep it real. Jurassic Park was groundbreaking. Oh, yeah. For those. It those, still is. It still is. I'm like, bro, yeah. them dinosaurs look more real than the ones in the Chris Pratt Jones. Yeah. I'm like, yo, <laughs> only reason the Chris Pratt ones are watchable is because of somebody else who's in it. Wait, who? Bryce. Okay. You know. Okay. One of my faves. Yes, yes. You know, she's in crap, bro. In that first Jurassic World, when she came, I was like, <laughs> bro, I, I thought I was like, this movie is so bad. But I cannot turn it off. I was like, God. I was like, Jesus. Because that was like, that was like her first like big role after like, like going into her thirties. You know, yeah, like, cause yeah. Because you know she was coming off like the help and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and and all the M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyam, Yeah, all the M yeah. Night movies and like this was kind of her like, you know, I'm an actor, actor. I'm here to say she was really good in it. Man, I just. I'm like, this woman's great. And I don't think I've listened to one thing she said. <laughs> I was like, holy hell. But was hey, she in like shorts or something the whole time? Nah, or? bro. She got a white blouse on. Oh, okay. She's got the shoulder length red hair with the bangs. Yeah. Whew, what a look. Wow. What a look. And then she just kept getting hotter and hotter. I'm like, how do you get... Look, hot? she looked great in Argyle. Dude, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I was... <laughs> And we're like the only two people we're, who saw We're it. like, yeah, we're the only people who saw it. There was like seven total people yeah. in the theater. We're only people who saw it. And I'm like, man, I'm like, Sam Rockwell is so good. But God, I just can't stop looking at Bryce. <laughs> I'm like, Sam's giving me the performance, yeah. but I'm staring at her. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Geez. They, they had great chemistry. They, they should do something else. Yeah. They should do another film. They, they were good. Argyle, Argyle is a lot better than people gave it credit for. Yeah. It, you just have to take your mind out of it. It's a mindless. Film. It's it's just like another Kingsman type. It's a movie. Kingsman popcorn yeah, flick. Yeah, it's Some, like, something to watch and just have a little fun. And you know, you ain't gonna go and write a review on it, but you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's something just, just a good time. Yeah, yeah. But and, and if you like Sam Rockwell, you'll love it. So. Yeah. And who honestly doesn't like Sam Rockwell? He's great. I don't know anyone who doesn't. I've yeah. never heard someone like, yeah, he's a right. Yeah, <laughs> never. People are like, oh, he's great always, yeah. bro. Justin Hammer, bro. Yeah. Hammer time. You know, he's like, <laughs> dude, that's. 
he's been killing it since like dude he was in like charlie's angels back in the day yeah, he's like right. a villain in there he had a dude green mile oh, like he's right. he like he's that. super young in that anyway like look if they do man if they ever decide to say you know what we want to do an american collab with the godzilla get sam rockwell's ass in there yeah bro. yeah i'm like yeah, he could be the Raymond Burr character. He could. There you go. <laughs> just edit him into minus one in two years. <laughs> and have it be like, hey. Like American starring guy. Sam Rockwell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Since the movie jumps years, it would be like after 45. Because obviously the, the beginning scene is before Japan surrenders, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Well, because they say something about the bomb dropping, don't they? I think they might. I think they say. But I don't know if Japan surrendered during, like, before that scene. It was, they definitely didn't. They were still, they were still like, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah cause he veered off to save his ass. Yeah, cause he was like, bro, this shit's, he, he just knew it was coming to a head, bro. He's like, yeah. look. And it's probably because it, the bomb had to have already dropped because Godzilla mutated after the uh, atomic bombs. Yeah. That's so what that's what I'm like, the bomb had to have dropped, but they still were definitely active. So by the time he gets back to home, I think they had surrendered. Yeah, yeah cuz yes, like yeah, yeah cuz the movie ends is 47, right? The movie ends 47 or 48, 48 it takes place them. over a few years. Yeah, cuz they cut they show you the timestamps. Yeah, um, yeah, like 46 then and cuz the baby grows. Yeah, the baby. Yeah, the baby's fucking tall. Yeah. Like the baby's <laughs> yeah. at least 4. And she's like crying yeah, and whining yeah, and I'm, I'm like, like oh, the baby's God, at least man, like 4 to, by the time. You need to discipline this kid. Right? You know I ain't disciplining she, this kid, bro. She's like the kids in uh in Yojimbo or uh, oh my god or uh, uh, um, the good the, not the good the bad the the uh, oh my god fistful fistful yeah. yes yeah, those whiny kids because <laughs> them kids were drive the ones in fistful really were driving me I was like yeah. bro I'm about to mute this shit and watch the subs only because these kids <laughs> getting on my nerves the ones in Yojimbo yeah. they're annoying but they're kind of funny but oh, yeah. speaking of a, a crazy kid movie bro totally off topic I watched a Brazilian film called Pishat. P I X O T E. Okay. 1980, bro. Holy fuck. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Like, I've watched kids, Larry Clark's kids, and that's a crazy film yeah. with kids. Bro, I, bro, this shit was nuts. I, I'm a turn. If I was a parent and my kid wouldn't be an actor and they gave me the script, but my kid's not going to be in this fucking movie. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is that? Bro, these wow. kids are in here. Selling drugs, doing drugs, having sex with women. That's one kid. He's sixteen. He has sex with a woman who's like forty some years old. Um, <clears throat> they're killing people. Yeah, they're doing everything you don't want your kid to do. Wow. I'm like, oh, bro. And it's from the early eighties. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was insane. Very good film, but holy yeah. shit. <laughs> Anywho. Wow. Yeah, kids. Uh, kids. We all know kids can be difficult to deal with. Um. Yeah, and believe films. it or not, like she did a good job. Like, she was good. I just don't know how many takes they had to do to get her to do, you know, Pro probably a few. Yeah, um, because she was quite young. She was very um, yeah. But I mean, they, I'll I'll say this though, the story was there. Yeah, I liked the story. I just don't like the execution of. Do I blame the director? Well, maybe he. he co-wrote the movie he did i'm like he took a year to write that yeah and, and i'm not and i'm like i'm not knocking the writing i yeah. think the writing's there i'm just like it's, it's oh it just of... it just got on my nerves at times like like i said i think i get i get what he was trying to do yeah. he wanted to grab your heart he with did. the family he yeah this is a, he was smart to write it this way because women can get into it yeah because you got can, anyone yeah. can get into it yeah. he wrote it very smart he wrote it for a mass audience it's like if godzilla starred in barbie yeah <laughs> it really is in a like way. yeah in a way if godzilla starred because it was a film for it was rated e for everyone yeah, yeah like everyone could get it there was something everyone could connect to in it so there was times i was very very invested in the film and was very much into it and there were times i'm like really bro i'm like really cuz well, i'm like you gonna go get a job after this motherfucker been taking care of you for how long now you want to go get a job to prove what and that's I'm like so you guys aren't really together fuck that yeah i'm like bro it's been you like taking two years care yeah i'm like you're yeah. taking care of her she better be giving it up on the regular cuz like <laughs> i ain't even trying to be an ass but like yeah, yeah. bro He's he took you to in that. he took you and a kid in that ain't even your kid yeah he's like bro People are like, whose daughter is this? Like, Should I fuck if I know? Yeah. You know what I mean? Just kick her out kick the door. Her, yo, I'm like, dude. But then he just leaves her, and later on, the kid's just wandering out, 
And and the woman's that's, like, "Hey, uh, Akika, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. uh, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of <laughs> yeah. stuff in the story yeah. where you're like, bro. Well, see, I think the main point of the film, like the last, I'll say, act, is like the main purpose of the film. <sighs> Absolutely. It's, so it, it comes down to like the last line in the film too. Is your war over yet? Yep. And it and, ain't. And it's really just beginning. It it is. Mm-hmm. But it's also about like right before that, what happens is these these guys that were so defeated in war, and they're now civilians come together and actually in working together they found a renewed purpose in trying to defeat Godzilla. Absolutely. And, you, it, you and it's almost so like it's a like, shot at redemption. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's really what it is. Yeah. And I I hate to say it, but that's how like I I'm not pro Hitler, but that's how Hitler got the Nazi party to be so popular. He brought like German nationalism back. Yeah. And in a way, I felt like these characters felt pride again at being Japanese. They did. And they did and what their talents were. And I, and I like that aspect. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was like there that's what I'm like there's a lot to like about it. That's what yeah. like all the moments when they're too. dealing with all the Godzilla moments, whether they're like the whole scene where they're playing in hell, they're gonna do it. That's oh, yeah. one of the best well, scenes. Dude, Doc is honestly one of Doc he's incredible. Captain, yeah. Those two, because they were my dudes. Because when the captain's like, I think he's the one who's like, I didn't know Doc was such a big wig. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, he was smart as shit, bro. Yeah. When, they, when they were mapping it all out, I'm oh, like, yeah. this is cool. I was like, this is cool. So I'm from there. I'm like, all right, bro, they're gonna cut all this family shit out. And yeah, get to work. <laughs> and and they did. They really. did. Yeah, still some family shit in there, but they did. Yeah, and like you said, like the third act. Outside of the very, not the very, very end, but when she comes back, I thought, yeah, that, I just the, thought that the, was that is horrible. the very well, you're right, the very, very, the end very, is, very end. Yeah. You know, uh, listen, if y'all are listening to this, should we? Should well, we well, it? well, they already know there's gonna be, there's yeah, like, you there's already like know, bro. Every few years. Listen, they don't kill him, all right, he yeah. don't die, yeah, all right? he's we, you see, at the very end. You see him already regenerating. Yeah. I'm like, the yeah. dude will be back probably tomorrow. Yeah. I'm like, yo. That's all I'm like, like yo. And, and here's, be- here's what I'm wondering. Because there are, I believe it or not, your unanswerable questions. There are some for this film. But it's just from watching it, like, we see a piece of him start to regenerate. Mm-hmm. Would every piece regenerate into, like, a so. different Godzilla? I don't know. You know what I mean? And like, there's that possibility. Many ones that would be crazy. Like, yeah. you get a bunch of like maybe twenty feet Godzilla. Yeah. Instead of like, because yeah. Godzilla's like thirty stories up. Or yeah, something. dude, he's so. It would tall. be like all those mini ashes in Army of Darkness. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> but they're all Bruce. Godzilla. You <laughs> know, it's funny. I was listening to a video earlier talking about Bruce Campbell. Bro. Really? But yeah, yeah. They were like, "What the hell happened to him?" I was like, "I didn't finish it. Actually, I'm gonna finish it later." But I know he was in the show Burn Notice for years. Mm-hmm. Didn't they make a like an Ash uh, versus Evil Dead show or something? Like yeah, that? it was. That's what it was. It was Ash yeah. for three seasons. It was good, right? It was on Stars. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, I heard it was decent. It was uh, gory and funny. I mean, like Evil Dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's really what it was. was and like... but because it was Ash versus Evil Dead, I think Army of Darkness is actually owned by Universal, not the same company so there's uh, really so they so couldn't it's, so it's kind of like army of darkness didn't really happen. didn't happen yeah, yeah that sucks yeah but it's still great because yeah, it's bruce campbell bruce campbell he's the yeah. man that's something like bro bruce cameron and then like sam raimi's the man he would be great saying? in a godzilla movie he would he really would yeah he'd be great because he'd bring that the goofiness you need for an american character in like yeah. a japanese film but he can be a stern ass too you he know can, but he, he is funny though like dude evil dead 2 is like a, to me i looked at it like it's a, a straight Stooges comedy movie. yeah i was like it's a straight yeah. comedy because yeah. like, the first one's scary not scary scary but like it's scarier than it's two. yes yeah. like the first yeah. one you're like oh shit you're like oh shit like bro when when they locked the sister in the basement oh, yeah. and shit. I'm like, yo, this shit kind of scary. Oh, and when that and when tree, the, like, the tree, like, like raised her, I was yes, like, bro. Yes. Like, I'm like, uh, <laughs> Yeah, like, what's going on here? I was like, uh, <laughs> First time I saw that, I was just, like, looking off away from the screen. I was yeah. like, I'm yeah, very you uncomfortable. Feel weird. And the yeah. vines are really. Yeah, they are. I was like. They're like the mountain in the Holy Mountain. Yo, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, but I don't think she enjoyed this one. <laughs> no, that chick no. in the Holy Mountain was like, yeah. 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 She was like, like you said, she rocked me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, he, he got, she got rocked for real. But, <laughs> yes, yeah, like, uh, Evil Dead's got some real horror elements to her. Like, yeah. you watch Evil Dead too. The scary shit is all comical. I'm like, yes, it's yes. all comical. Especially when it's like his hand. Yeah, yeah. And, like, like, <laughs> and, then, and then he shoots it in the wall and all that. It's like Kill Bill is really what it is out of the wall. <laughs> oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. yeah, dude. I'm like, Evil Dead, he would be good in it. But yeah. there's, um, but like, like I said, I didn't think the film was, it's, it has masterpiece elements to it mostly all from the action standpoint and the way they made it look and the yeah. writing is there the writing yeah, is definitely yeah, there the story if it was just a story like not of godzilla but like of someone coming back after the war and trying to rebuild their life it would probably be a good drama it'd be a good drama great drama yeah, it'd be yeah. a good drama but i went into this because everyone's telling me he looks crazy. The action, the action, the action. So no one's yeah. telling, like, I've heard people are like, oh, I cared about the characters. Yeah. Well, fuck that. The action, the action, the action. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, I'm just ready to see balls to the wall. Yeah. Two hours of fucking Godzilla. But it's like a half it's, hour. It's a half Godzilla. hour total. Out of two hours. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. you only see him a couple minutes at a time. And I'm yeah. like, they just tease the fuck out of you. I'm they like, do. oh, they man. Do. He, it's just the that scene in the wall. <laughs> yo, for real, just the tip. It's a tip. It's, it's, just wanted to put the tip in. You're like, oh, and then you're like, fuck, come back. Like, I'm literally, I've never wanted to see a monster. <laughs> like, uh, I've never wanted to see a monster come back so much in my life. Uh, but they really did. They just put the tip in, and they're like, we're going to tease the fuck. We're going to make you want more of this. You're going to be begging for this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but as they said, uh, so we're gonna make you beg for it. Cause I like, guess uh, what? They drop minus two or plus one, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna see it. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm, I'm gonna see it. So I'm like, shit, I might go see it in theaters. Like, shit, if they do drop that, we might have to go see it. Yeah, you know and you know what? Uh, yes. Yeah, and do a live out the theater yeah, because, reaction. Like, we, you know? Because now that they established all the. Because, you know, if, if it, since it is like um, a reboot, let's say, and from the ground floor up, they did have to establish all the bullshit. So now anything after they can just hop right into it. Like yep. Lethal Weapon 2. Lethal Weapon 2. That's yeah, why man. it's the best one. Yeah, because they just hop right into it. Because you already know Riggs and Murtaugh. Yep. That's all you need to know. Okay. They're okay. in the car okay. and they're driving. Yep. And God, chasing somebody. Dude, Cougar we... <laughs> we, we, he said, never ever order from the drive thru, okay? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, the drive thru. <laughs> Yo, chill. You love Leo Getz. I love man. Leo Getz, bro. Yeah. I, look, I love Joe Pesci. Okay. Yes, dude. I watched Goodfellas like last week. I, Did you I again? Had, I had to. Wow, bro. I watched Goodfellas probably three times a year at least. You wow. know, I, dude. It's just it's that fucking good, and I like I laugh every time. Every part that makes me laugh, I laugh at it every time. I still get all into it. Felicia and I were watching something the other. Oh my god, I we watched They Live. Oh my god, <laughs> so good. Yeah, she wanted to watch They Live, dude, and all I Roddy kept, Piper. All I kept thinking was like, why isn't Kurt Russell in dude. this film? Yo, he would have been so, perfect. So there's a lot of controversy on that. I think, I think Kurt Russell turned it down because I'm. I think John Carpenter asked him. To yeah, because it seemed like it would have been perfect, dude. He it's looks almost like, like a, a small version of Roddy Piper, but it's almost like a Snake Plissken origin story. Yes, it really is. Yeah, no, it really is. And if he wouldn't have died at the end. Yeah. I mean. Yes. I yeah. feel, but I. I think Kurt Russell turned it down. Wow. Uh, if he I'm must not have been mistaken, doing overboard he was, or he, I think. I think he was like. After the thing and everything, I think he was trying to avoid a typecast. Really? I think. Don't quote me on any yeah. of this, but I know, because I, as soon as I watched They Live for the first time, I was like, okay, this should have been Keith David and Kurt Russell. Yeah, and yeah. Keith David was thing. incredible. Yeah, bro, the fight scene, well, yeah, the Yeah, when they were beating the shit out of oh each other. Oh, my God. But, but what made me think of it was, you know, the helicopters. I told Felicia, I'm like, man, I feel like Henry Hill. Yo. Driving. Right. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Motherfuckers been staring at helicopters and tomatoes all Sunday, <laughs> bro. He's looking out that window, bro. He's sweating his ass off, bro. He almost crashes in that yeah. car. He's like, bro, Henry or Henry is just going crazy in that scene. I felt, bro. I feel like that watching they live, dude. That's dope. I was like, oh my god, I'm, dude. I'm, 
stoned out of my mind right Whoa, now. Whoa, when the chick throws him out the oh, fucking Jesus. window. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Dude, now you, dude, I'm like, oh, my God. I've oh, never I seen love, it before. Oh, my God. It's it was so, the first time I'd dude, seen it. Them, it's that movie's so relevant to to today. It it's is insane. I'm like, it is. I'm I like, I thought I was, dude. I'm gonna send you a picture that I found that that this comic book artist had done. Dude, it's they incredible. live was when I first saw it. I was like, yo, this movie is so relevant still. I'm like, this is nuts. It's and you know what? I actually loved it. I'm like, I can't believe I it's a great seen film. I now. came here to kick ass and chew, and chew no, bubble wait, no, gum. No, chew bubble gum and, and kick, kick ass, ass, and I'm, and all, I'm all out of bubble, out of bubble gum. gum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like his acting wasn't great, but he was perfect for that kind of role. Yeah, you know what I mean? and you know if I wish he would have had a a bigger career because how many action stars are great in that kind of role? Not you know? a lot. Like, you well, got like John Cena, the rock, but I mean like at that time you had Stallone, Stallone Schwarzenegger, Van Damme was just starting up just at that starting. time. So and that came out of 88. Let's keep it real. Van Damme is, a, is way lesser than Stallone and Schwarzenegger. Oh, totally. His but, acting is just so bad. Oh, dude. it is. I think, <laughs> have you ever seen kickboxer? Oh my God. <laughs> bro. The dance scene. The dance scene, bro. I was literally just about to say that fucking dance scene. I'm like, damn, uh, damn. Who put you up to this? Uh, cocaine. D- yes, yes. Bro, they said he was spending like 20 grand a week on cocaine. Oh, my God. I'm like, holy hell, bro. He was like, yeah, I was running out of money. A $20,000 coke habit will do that. Man, and I'm like, holy hell. Hey, man, they said he'd be so high on set. They're, man, Van Dam, Van Dam was only a couple steps above Seagal. As oh far my as God, Steven working. Seagal! Like Steven, oh, don't we? We'll have to have a. We might have to have like, like an '80s action yes. star episode. Yeah, where we could just talk about we'll the cover, different styles. Yeah, the stuff. styles, because like, yeah. Arnold was top dog for oh, me yeah. in the '80s. Dude, you watch Commando, right? Oh my God, That's so incredible. good, so funny, wild balls yeah. to the wall action. It, look. Sully, remember when I told you I'd kill you last? Yep, yeah, I lied. I lied. <laughs> yeah, and, and that dude who plays this Sully is my week off. Is my week off. Yeah, <laughs> that dude who plays Sully is he was in always, the Crow. He's in the Crow. He's in the Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors. Yo, yeah, he's, yeah. he's always an asshole. Yeah, yeah. The Warriors did it. <laughs> <laughs> or in the Crow, bro. Fire it up. Yeah, fire it up. <laughs> he said. Yeah. He said. Wait a minute. I know you, but but you ain't you. We killed you. It ain't no coming back. Yeah, like, there ain't no coming back, man. Right? Yeah. No coming back. He's got him taped, he's taped up in the car, there, right? right? He's got yeah. him taped up in the car, bro. Yeah. God, the crow. How you feel about this new crow coming out with Bill Scars? Uh, well, I'm not sure because I loved the crow when it came out. I love the comic. The comic, Wait, which, which I read, yeah, and it was awesome. Read, yeah. Awesome. And Brandon Lee apparently was a really big fan of the comic and really fought to have at least as much of the comic in the film as possible. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if, cause they had so many shitty sequels after oh, yeah. that had nothing City to do with of the angels comic. or whatever. Yeah. Great soundtrack. <laughs> Yo, Terrible soundtrack movie. fire. Yeah. That's one thing they've always got right with the crow. Soundtrack. Yeah. Soundtrack. The crow one soundtrack. Amazing. I, bro. I'll listen to it. Start to finish to this day. Still. Yeah. Like, look, even God, nine inch nails covering, oh uh, my God. covering a uh, joy division. So, Souls. Good. Uh, oh, and then of course you got the cure on there. Yeah. That burn. Oh yeah. Stone Temple Pilots. Like, oh my god. Uh, so big empty, right? Yeah. There. yeah. God, that all right, making me watch the crow. Jesus and Mary Chain is on yeah. there. I, uh, Machines right. of Loving Grace. I'm either watching the crow or they live. I don't know which one. <laughs> I'm watching one of them. I got them both on Blu-ray. Bro. Yeah. But, but uh, anyway, yeah. So we watching uh They Live and I was like, helicopters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry guys, we got yeah. So, so off topic. Yeah, but Godzilla Minus One, actually, so it kind of reminds me of, like, They Live in a way, and even, like, The Crow, because it's, like, a, a lower-budget sci-fi action film. Yeah, that's what it is. It's yeah. A, it's a sci-fi action film with a very strong heartbeat. Yes, Because yes. the characters do matter. And I do appreciate the care he, <clears throat> excuse me, he put into the characters, because a lot of action movies don't give a shit about the character, except the main guy. But every yeah. character here had their own little thing going for him, like the doc and the captain and the yeah. kid. And then, of course, his girlfriend with air quotes around it. Yeah. And his <laughs> daughter with air quotes around it. Yeah. And his 
asshole neighbor who made him feel like shit at every turn. And she came through like she did. She did. She through. did. But she didn't want to. It was very reluctant. Yeah, I <laughs> think. I think over the years she ended up adopting them as like her her kids. Family. Yeah, yeah. Because she's like, because so, she's like the grandma. Yep. Gra- I was just or, say, even she's though like, they say like aunt or whatever, she is. She's more, grandma, bro. Yeah. She's like, she's basically the grandma to that daughter. Yeah. You know I mean, she was watching her and shit. You know. Yeah, I mean? yeah. When uh, she would go to work. Douchebag ended up going to work when yeah. she didn't have to. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, she's like, I want to get a job, and she's like, I want to be, you know, independent. What's well, because like, so he what? wasn't asking her to marry him. So she's like, I need options because if you yeah, decide to I kick guess our asses right. out. I guess this is the 40s. I was like, what yeah, you did. If you decide to kick us out, I'm assed out. I need to have something to fall back That on. is true. You know what? You're right there. Yeah. We all knew this motherfucker wasn't going to kick her out. No, not at like, all. She, she'd been waiting, and he was like. Sounded like she wasn't giving it up, though. Well, she probably wouldn't have because in oh, yeah, I'm sure especially times, in that society. Those, those times in that society, I guess. Yeah, she wasn't. She had to wait for the shiny gold circle. Yeah, she wasn't uh, a geisha or anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> right? Yo. Memories of a geisha. I was literally just about to say that <laughs> movie. Mm, yo. You look, Michelle, Michelle Yeo. Yeo. That's yeah. what I was like, Michelle Yeo. Yeah. And the chick from Rush Hour 2. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, she was hot. Um, yeah, That's bro. one of Ferocious' favorite movies. Dude, it's great. Oh, yeah. You uh, know, Glenn Watanabe's mm-hmm. in it, right? Yeah. No incredible yeah he's a great actor always good well oh. he's in your one of your favorite films batman begins Batman begins, bro yeah. that, dude. even though he's in for like five minutes don't matter it's a good don't five matter. minutes he's in inception too ain't it he probably he is, is. he is oh yeah. man he's great in there i love him in there and you think he's gonna be an ass but he's not um yeah i you know me i love all kinds of weird japanese stories especially when it comes to you know the dark society uh, you know? yeah, yeah. like um Flowers of Shanghai is another good like prostitution movie set in uh that's actually Hong Kong though. Um you gotta watch Farewell My Concubine, that one I Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I made you I put you through some hell. Yeah. Um that's dude, you know, I love all these weird I love Japanese, Korean, Chinese films. I love them from all time periods. They're all great. Uh but minus one, you're right. He she did have to do something for herself because yeah. I guess she was like, she wasn't. Well, how sure. long is this dude just gonna keep supporting my ass? Yeah, she wasn't sure about their relationship because he he couldn't commit one probably because he didn't know when he went out to work if he was gonna die. He's gonna die. Yep. Yeah, because he because so, he did kept emphasis when he told her he got the job. Yeah, he's like, yo, it's mad dangerous. It's yeah. dangerous. I could die. He yeah. said it a lot. Yeah, he and she's did. like, "Well, don't do it." And he's like, "Uh, we who paying the, the bills up in this piece?" I got three thousand yen right now, which is like twenty dollars. Not even that's probably seven dollars. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. But it was three thousand more than he had. Yeah, that, yeah, that is true. It's like, yo, I got seven bucks. We can get one McDouble, <laughs> okay, <laughs> a sweet tea and a small fry in two thousand twenty-four. That'll just cover one McDouble, bro. Yeah, maybe, like, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I, I mean, I ain't McDonald's eight nine years i don't know what the prices are like yeah. but i've been hearing that the burgers are a lot smaller and it's a lot more expensive like i heard there's basically no dollar menu. well that's what um you know people have been talking about shrinkflation and then i think I, I think biden talked about it in the i almost said the gettysburg address he's old enough <laughs> he's old enough to have actually given or been there at Yo, the gettysburg address sure. <laughs> but uh but so is trump he's only a couple years yeah younger. i'm like so, they're like peers so, so both of them you know, it, like one was probably a senior when the other was a freshman. Was a freshman, yeah. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, that's like. And that's not much difference. Because I, like, I hear a lot of people like, well, Biden's old. We got to get Trump. But I'm like, bro, he's like two, three years younger. I'm yeah, like, he's going to be about, 78 in June. Yeah, it's not like we're talking yeah. about freaking somebody in their 50s or 60s. Yeah. Bro. I'm like, we're talking about a dude who's like almost 80. Yeah, so, so what? The, <laughs> anyway, you, you know, so shrinkflation, it, it is a thing. And I think after COVID, that's what it became. It became like we can charge people more, but also uh, John Oliver on last week tonight did a story about delivery apps mm. and delivery apps take a chunk of whatever places are charging, like more of a chunk than you realize. So that's why they're bumping their so, prices yeah, so they're up. driving delivery yep. apps are driving prices up. So because of COVID and people using delivery apps more after COVID, all, everything goes up. We think it's like we blame 
Like, well, why isn't the president doing anything? Because he doesn't own Grubhub. That nah, is true. <laughs> you know you what don't I mean? You own DoorDash. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uber Eats, whatever. So, so that's what's screwing everything up. So, yeah, that's why it's happening. That's what I'm like, Because they, they can charge more for less because of all these things, but they're not making as much on it. Dude. Because of that. The amount of money that shit costs. Like, I had a kid, he used to always DoorDash food or Uber Eats, whatever. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what are you spending on this every time? He's like. I'm like thirty-five dollars for some fucking Chipotle. I'm like, bro, dude. I'm like, look, I'll go get it for you. I just feel bad. I'm yeah, like, just, just, just pay me the car. delivery. Yeah, fee. I was like, right. I'm like, bro, <laughs> look, just give me some chips and I'll be yeah. good. Or whatever. I'm like, dude. I was like, that yeah. is. I'm like, bro. That's why you ain't never got no money. Yeah, I'm like, you do terrible? this like three times a week. I'm like, bro, you spending over a hundred dollars a week on, de- a week on delivery food. I'm like, that's a drug habit. I'm like, come on, bro. And you know what? I, it probably is like a drug. It probably gets addicted. Food, like, yeah. I don't have to go out. To do yep. it. it comes right I to me. I can sit right on my ass. I ain't got to turn off the TV. Yeah. It's watching my stories. You know? <laughs> I, I mean, that's, that's how it be. But. Yeah. Yeah. Minus one, like. Yeah. Like, sorry. Back yeah, to minus one. Like, guys. Speaking of Grubhub. Right. Godzilla eats a lot. He does eat a lot. <laughs> bro. He was. Bro, when he was picking them dudes up and just oh get them, God, I was like, yeah. oh, my Lord. And that's the beginning Godzilla. So he was only like 20 feet or something. Yeah. And then he, yeah. bro, that's when like by the end, yeah. when he comes out the water, oh, I'm like, yeah. bro, I'm like, where's the ocean floor? Yeah. But then I'm like, they sent him to the ocean floor. So I'm like, okay, he's not that tall. No, but, but I'm like, dude, he so, came back pretty quick. So he can swim. He can swim. He can swim. He can breathe underwater. Yep. And for some reason, he has arms, even though he's like a giant lizard. He's a giant lizard with like a T Rex, like yeah, like he wants to be a T Rex too. Because he is apparently like a dinosaur. He's mm-hmm. like you know some creature from the Jurassic period mm-hmm. that got mutated by the uh, irradiation from uh, Oppenheimer. It'd be crazy though if something like that really happened, bro. Well, well, the problem then would be like okay, so let's say. All of them mutate into like other Godzillas, right? And all, all the pieces of it, because at the end he falls to pieces. Mm-hmm. And and we saw it kind of regenerate. If they don't regenerate together, but they just kind of like like a worm, let's say, you know, it can like form another yep. worm. And they all get a job like working in a factory. No matter what they do, they'll always be shorthanded. They'll always be shorthanded. <laughs> Like a T Rex. The assembly line yeah, just, like, is just uh, always uh, as fuck because no one's ever. Yeah, like, uh, uh, that was a very long walk. Speaking of his, um, <laughs> him blowing up in the pieces though, we gotta talk about that scene. Yeah, yeah, dude, I will give that was the dopest shit the lead did. Oh, and that plane way, is that... actually a real plane. Oh, really? Yeah, that they designed back then. Oh shit! I, I mean, it's not the actual plane, but it, it's based on a real plane. Yeah, that and, was a kick ass plane. Yeah, dude, it was. Yeah. And like. And I, I feel like everybody who was watching it was probably like, oh, my God, he's going to die like he was supposed to. Kamikaze. <laughs> and you see his, I'm like, he ain't going to die. No. His ass is going to shoot out that but, bitch. But you notice the mechanic was like so happy that he didn't die because he's like, you don't have to die to be a hero. You don't. And and like the captain even told the kid because the kid's like, I wasn't in the war. I need to yep, do something. I need to do something. And, and, he's, yeah. and he's like, it's OK that you not going to war is a thing to be proud of. Yes. And that's what, like, when he first meets them and the kid's like, damn, he's pretty much like, I'm jealous of you that you were in war. Yeah. And he's like, bro, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, like, yeah. You're insane. And I was thinking the same thing. I was like, kid, you, man, you're insane. But it, it is that's an the anti-war mentality. movie. Yeah, it is yeah, very yeah. anti-war. And, like, and I'm sure, like, look, Germans and Japanese have very, very strong feelings towards World War II. Yeah. And it's very still much ingrained in their today life how do the italians feel because they, they them the... too them too okay i wasn't yeah, sure they're, to they're, be honest because I, I literally i've watched mad movies recently covering world war ii from the italian side okay. the japanese side and the german side none of them really seem to like it. okay um, no that's interesting like, to know because i just realized yep, no the, the they, italians they the too third. and like i'm watching um Cinema Paradiso. Oh, and I'm watching it for like the third time because it's so fucking good. Yeah, were you talking to Cora about it? I did tell her about yeah, cause it. Yeah, because she was she was telling me, and I'm like, oh, that sounds like Cinema Paradiso. She, yeah, I was. Uh, she's I like was, some French film. I'm like, that's Italian. That's Italian. I was <laughs> How like, dare I you? was like, get your get your get your love language right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, dude, and like you know, even in Italy in that film, they're talking about some people are like, 
oh, you love Stalin and you're this and you're that. And other people are like, it's very divided. Yeah. And it, even just in that film, in their small little village yeah. on how they felt about the war and situations like that. But I mean, I, I like that Italy and Japan haven't been trying to erase the history. Yeah. They, they kind of embrace it and show how we've grown from it. Yeah. Whereas Germany's hit or miss. <laughs> you know, they, they are. Yeah. You're like some stuff, some stuff I watch German and it's like, they're like, yo, anti-war for sure. And then some it's like, well, it wasn't great, but, you know, yeah. so it's, it's like. And that could be that pride in like German culture. Like, like you can't deny it if you have pride in your yeah. country. It's not Florida. It's not Florida. No. Yeah. And, and I hate to say that, but you know, if you. If you actually care about your country, you would take the good and the bad. And the bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just like, it's like slavery in America. All right? yeah. I'm a black dude, okay? So, was slavery bad? Obviously. Yeah. But slavery is a mega, mega part of not only American history, but world history. And without it, the entire world would be different. Like, the world yeah. we know it today wouldn't be what it is. You're right. So... You have to embrace these things, talk about them, and put them in certain lights, whether you think it's bad or good or evil or whatever. This stuff has to be talked about. We got to talk about slavery. You got to cover it. You got to show all aspects of it because a lot of things came out of slavery that some would call a positive. Yeah. Positives can come out of negatives. Yeah, it doesn't mean slavery is positive. No, it's not. Just like World War II, we got computers, mm -hmm. we got smartphones, you mm -hmm. know, we got all that technology because they had to figure out how to like code how to, yep yes yeah and i mean dude like slavery slavery advanced the country what 100 years <laughs> like, you know and also it, this is gonna sound uh, really weird but we got great music oh because no. scott joplin who started ragtime was born into slavery and then in the 1890s, he started the first form of popular music. Mm -hmm. And it went from there. Then you have like jazz, blues, jazz. Yep. Country. Country. Yeah, yeah. Everything out from that. And then it's just like. So, but that doesn't make slavery I mean, right. Look like it doesn't. But yeah. slavery and what it did, it created an entire world culture. America, yeah. we, we set the tone. We set the tone for pretty much everything. Yeah. You but. Know, it's actually England who set the tone for America, though. They they did, slavery. but now we set in the tone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking current day. Oh, current. Okay, current I thought day. we were still yes, talking no, about... No, no, no. Okay. Current day. Okay, now yes, we yes. set the tone, but without slavery and integrating these different people and mixing these cultures and creating new cultures and new things. Yes, and yes. All of that, there was flowers born out of the shit, you know? Yeah, you You need right. shit to make you flowers. You have to fertilize. Yes, 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 like, yes. So it, It's like a lot of this stuff, like, like World War II... Is one of the worst things ever, but it united a lot of people. It did. It, it did. brought like, bro, it united the world, and it. Yeah. And as fortunately, so many lives lost and bad things happened, bro. It made everyone stronger as people. It did because you had the. Uh, I almost said industrial revolution, and that's not it. That, that's a little it, more back in the slave it, era. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but like, that that but, too though, it, like, bro, it, the that, industrial that, revolution mixed with slavery, yeah. set the world on fire. And then after World War II, it was like the uh, like that Cold War era where it was like the baby boom, mm -hmm. like nuclear family kind of thing. Yep. Like like the the industry during that era, like everybody was well off, well off, and everyone was like, "Let's get married, make families, yeah, populate yeah. the earth." Jobs were yeah. plentiful, things were rolling, especially yeah. here. Shit was rolling. Like by 1950, people was living, bro. Yeah, all these new children were born. A whole new generation was born. And it's like, dude, I mean, it, it 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 was a lot came from it, and it's just like, like how that kid in the movie's like, oh man, oh, I wish I was in war, dude. You yeah. know how many um people I know, I've li I've read interviews, listened to interviews, talked to people who didn't get to go to Vietnam who felt like they were missing the fucking time of their life. Really, they were like. Of course, in hindsight, they're like, I'm glad I didn't yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, dude, when I couldn't go for whatever reason, it was the most devastating thing. I felt like I was missing the fucking party of the fucking century. Wow. And, and so many people, like, I read a review on the movie The Deer Hunter. Yeah. And the guy who wrote it was talking about how he saw it in 1979 with his father in theaters. And he was like, <clears throat> when we walked out the theater, my dad was dead silent. He didn't say anything. And when we got in the car... 
and we start driving. He's like, we're about maybe 10 minutes from home. And he's like, son, you know, I thought, I thought missing out on the war. He's like, son, I was so fucking depressed. He's like, I, I literally felt like I was missing out on everything. And he's like, watching that. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever been happier to not go somewhere. I'm like, yo, it's crazy. And he's like, and this is, you know, 79, the war is just just over. Yeah, yeah. it was only like four years Four years removed, you know what I mean? And he's like, holy shit. But he was like, man, I I think he said he couldn't go. Some kind of injury or something he had. And I was like, man, he's probably kissing the damn ground now. Like, thank God I couldn't go. Well, look at coming home. Like, what happened to those guys? (laughs) Whether it's the psychological stuff, like her husband or the guys that were actually who ain't got no damn legs, you know what I mean, or paralyzed. Like, dude, I felt so bad for Bruce Dern's character in that movie. Oh, man. Dude, talk about PTS fucking D, man. Like, that dude, Bruce Dern, what a performance. Yeah. Um, Super underrated. Coming home. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. If you ain't seen Coming Home, watch that. Jane Fonda and John Voight, the most likable John Voight role of yes, all time. Yes. Maybe next to Midnight Cowboy. He's incredible. And Midnight Cowboy was his first. I that was think, like, right? well, I think. Was yeah. that his very first film? I think so. Holy Joe Buck. Hell. Man. That's a hell of a debut. Yeah. But it was like Dustin Hoffman's second. Yeah. <laughs> right? Dude. Because he'd only done The Graduate before that. He was, I believe Damn. he was a stage actor before that. Yeah, though. he was. Yeah. Damn, but The Graduate I mean, was his first movie. Yeah. He killed that shit. He did. We knew he was going to be. Be the man. You know, I was listening to some. I heard that, you know, Scorsese wanted Hoffman to play Travis Bickle. Really? Before De Niro, yeah. And Hoffman read the script. He says, this is way too fucking dark, bro. I can't play this shit. I don't even, I can't even imagine I can't him. picture it. No. Not after De Niro, I can't picture it. Yeah. Like, De Niro's just, bro. He said, he I don't know, though. That, you smell that. It smells like open sewer. The city is disgusting. I'm just like, oh, De Niro's just too great but, in that film. But if you think about Ratto Rizzo. He could. I, I think he could have. He could have. It's yeah. just hard. That's just one of those roles. It's like trying to picture somebody else playing Doc Holliday in Tombstone. Oh, That's yeah, Val yeah. Kilmer. You know yes, what I mean? Yeah. I can't see nobody else. Yeah, now no that one. I've seen De Niro play Bickle, it's De Niro. But if anybody from that era, it would have had to be awful. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like Brando would have been too old. Yeah. Um he was too fat. I know Harvey Keitel though. Harvey Keitel could have Yeah. Mm, you I, think he got the chops though? He's a great actor. Yeah, maybe not but at do the you time. Think, Cause I would say I would put like Hoffman and De Niro in an S class and put um Keitel in like an A class. Okay. You know what I mean? You, I think you need an S class actor for that performance. Yeah, because he who else? Like Redford, Paul Newman. I'm trying to think of around that time. Redford, they're both too good looking to yeah, play. They, yeah, they, they couldn't can. play. They're too good looking to play Travis. Because, the- like, if it was Paul Newman, he's banging Sybil Shepherd first night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, Robert Redford, Sybil Shepherd would have been like, you took me to a porn theater? I don't care. You take me anywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what it's like. Yeah. You ever seen, I think it's 92, California? Brad Pitt, David Duchovny, Julia, Julia Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, dude, it's like it's, I, I saw it a long time ago. Yeah, it's like Brad Pitt is like a white trash freak murderer psycho in that film. Yeah, but it's still Brad Pitt. It's kind of like True Romance in a way. Yeah, yes, it is. Very, yeah, yes, yeah, it's similar. Yeah. Um, and I got a friend who likes it. She's like, she's a huge Brad Pitt fan. She's like, you know, I felt bad for Brad in that movie. What? You know, I'm like, is he's a fucking he murdering Pitt? psycho. She's like, yeah, but Brad Pitt. I'm like. I'm like, okay, if it was Steve Buscemi, she's like, oh, oh, I would have, I would have, exactly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because it's Brad Pitt, you have yeah. empathy for him. That's yeah. what I was like, yo, you can't. Yeah, you know what, you're right. Yo, so you can't cast super good looking guys in gritty roles like that. It takes away. It's like Chris Hemsworth playing some fucking like gritty ass, like psycho yeah. dude. That's now. not going to like, oh. Like if Chris Hemsworth played Jeffrey Dahmer, it's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, eat me. Eat That's me. what all the women. Yeah, would they'd say. be like, dudes, a and, lot of dudes too. Yeah, well, like, yeah. Shit. Well, he like, would only eat dudes because that's what Jeffrey. Dahmer that's what Johnny. Yeah, yeah. He, dudes be like, you can slice me up, daddy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, shit. he was a meat eater. He, yeah, <laughs> he was. He was a carnivore, <laughs> basically. But yeah, but shit. Sorry, we got yeah, yeah, way we off. Did. So, but minus one. I just want to talk about one more thing okay, before yeah. we wrap up. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, really quick. Mm-hmm. You mentioned uh, Travis Bickle mm-hmm. and all that. Did you see the trailer for Joker 2? No. 
I didn't even know it was out. Yeah, the trailer came out. You it's should be a it musical, out. right? I'm not sure. It seems like it from the trailer. That, that's what that's what Todd Phillips was saying. Yeah, but I I don't know. It's it looks like it might be as good as, if not better, than Joker. Believe it or not, I just, mean Gaga's gonna on, be in it, dude. Oh, yeah. she's an incredible actress. She is. Man. I she love is. Gaga. I, dude, I was watching Star is Born a couple weeks ago for like wow. the, I don't know the umpteenth time. She, she, bro. Every time I hear her voice, bro, I, I can't help but start to water up in the eyes. Really? Because I'm sad. It's just like certain voices, like when you hear certain people sing. Yeah. It's just like, dude, it does something to you. Man. Gaga's voice does something dude, to me. Susan Boyle. Bro. <laughs> Remember? Have you ever seen the clip of when she first sang? And I think all those judges and probably everyone in the audience on, on the X Factor or whatever it was yeah. over in England or Britain's Got Talent. Everyone's like bawling like, their eyes dude, out. Yo, and if you can do that, yeah, you got something, bro. For once, I didn't mean Susan Boyle as a joke. As a joke, yeah, because that's the one clip I think of, like that everybody was brought to tears because her voice was just that. Dude, some people got that powerful ass yeah. voice, man. Like Gaga is a great vocalist. I I don't think she gets enough credit for her vocal talents because obviously she's the dancing and the outfits and all her whole yeah, persona yeah. takes over. I think. I think it overshadows her talent, which I'm like, bro, this woman is talented. Now, how do you feel about her, though? Would you would you poke her face? Really? Nah. No. Okay. I don't know if she's that good looking. <laughs> oh, really? She, she's okay. She looks better now. She's gotten all that work done. You yeah. Because yeah. she got like she definitely got a nose job, and she definitely yeah. she definitely got some work done. Because I saw she her in fine. House of Gucci. That's the only thing I've ever seen. I still have to watch that. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You yeah. ain't seen Stars Born? I have not. Oh no. my god! Please watch that, dude. Bradley Cooper and Gaga have some of the best chemistry in the last ten years. Easily, bro. You're gonna love. You're gonna love it. You're gonna cry. You're gonna cry, dude. Bradley Cooper should have won his Oscar for that. Really? I think he should have won. I know you love Maestro. Oh, anyway, yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> Maestro. I know. What a fucking garbage film. Oh, it's... only thing saving that film is Carrie Mulligan. But anyway, um, uh, so, so your last thing about minus one. Yep. I'm sorry. I just want to say this: if you listen, action and visual effects in this movie, twelve out of ten. Godzilla looks incredible, dude. His sounds, dude, yeah. the sounds he makes. The way he was moving, his abilities, the way they used him was just perfect. And like you said, they did Jaws it out a little. It is very, yeah. it is very Jaws like with the minimalism. And like you said, I think it's because of budgetary issues. Just like Spielberg was like, "Well, I didn't show the shark not because that was my idea. The motherfucker didn't work, <laughs> <He's> like, you <laughs> know." So yeah, I had to yeah. use it sparingly and just yeah. you know but relied on the score. Though. It was it, it's a better film. Makes it, yeah, it's a better film because of it. I know it is because that shark looks shitty. And, <laughs> you know I mean? and, and if you think about that, then a lot of the the underlying thing, even when they're doing like the human stuff in the film. At least the pilot and the other three guys, there's this underlying terror. Like, when in the fuck is this thing coming yes, back? Yes, bro. Yes. They're like, yo, yeah. and dude, when they're shooting at him and his head's just like, God, yeah. I was like. Because he could have eaten that he boat. He could have eaten the boat. He yeah. wanted to fuck. That's what was did. like. He wanted to fuck with them. But but then that huge thing, that other huge boat came and he's like, I'll just destroy this thing. Yeah, instead. bro. He tore that thing yeah. up. Yo, when they when they first find the one boat before they actually oh, see yeah. him. Oh, yeah, and you just see the wreckage. Yo, I'm like. That's terrifying. As because, soon as I saw yeah. it, I turned this bitch around and get me back on land. Yeah. I do not want to be here. Because you realize <laughs> at that point, it's not the same Godzilla that he saw. No, because he's like, that Godzilla was probably containable. Yeah. He's yes, like, yes. that boat was looking like the Titanic yeah. out there. It was a mangle. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yo. There's no icebergs out yeah, here, is none. there? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. bro, it's summer. Like, what yeah. you should be like, yo, oh, bro. I was like, God damn. Like, yeah. dude, he just looks so cool. It was like, dude, I, if they were like, we're going to make a short film, 40 minutes, and it's just going to be pretty much all Godzilla just, just going ham, shit. I'd watch that great. every day. I'd yeah. probably watch that twice a week. Like, oh, like, guys, I, I know I didn't, I didn't praise this movie to high heavens like a lot of other films we talk about. But I will say you should watch it. It's it's definitely a film you have to see. If you're an action fan, a Godzilla fan for sure, yeah. you have to watch it. It's it's groundbreaking in what they did with this money. They use every dollar <laughs> they perfectly. Did. They did. Like, 
I, I if I if I'm a, if I'm a Japanese like if I run a studio in Japan, I'm hiring this director and and the editor and the editor. Think about I'm the, hiring how they edit everything. I'm yeah. like your whole team. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm gonna give y'all a hundred million dollars. Give me yeah. five movies. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be like give me five movies for a hundred mil. Let's make it happen. And it's only like fifteen people. But yeah, it's incredible. But they all bought in. They all yeah. showed that. You can tell the passion. Their you're passion. Right. Like yeah. like like when they won. Like I do. They were hyped. They they it was. It was just a visual effects award. Yeah. You would have thought they just won Best Picture. <laughs> That's what I was like. You would have thought they won Best Picture. But they out worked there. really hard they on the They worked hard as shit. They're like, bro, you beat all these American. You built. You beat the creator, bro. You yeah. beat Oppenheimer. Like, yeah. you beat big ass films. You beat you beat hundred million dollar films. Yeah. And y'all did or this more. shit. Y'all did this for pocket change. Yeah. Like fifteen million, twelve million for America. That's pocket change. They they probably one actor is getting that or. Or like the uh, catering budget. Yeah, that's the, they're like films. this is gonna cover food <laughs> yes, for, the, for, yes. for the for the production. Yeah, like that's what like give Nolan twelve million dollars, tell him to make a bro. Nolan couldn't. No one be like, he, he's like, wait, he be I like, that's my more. salary. I right? get paid Yo, more than like, that. Yeah, he's like, bro, <laughs> he's like, how he's like, how I'm supposed to hire my team? He'd be like, uh, wait, how much did like Memento cost? That was make. that was that, that was probably cheap, probably like yeah. two or three. Let's see, yeah, because he he obviously because like bro, his he, first film out, following, I mean, yeah. Oh my god, great film! I think he made it for ten thousand dollars. Yeah, because think about like how Robert Rodriguez started. Oh my Kevin bro, Smith and stuff. You the know? fact that he made El Mariachi for seven thousand dollars is just I could I was like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, how in the fuck did you turn? How did you do that? I can't believe it. But yeah, I I think you're right. Like, all those things are fantastic, but I really like. It's, it says five to nine. Okay. But it's like I last year I watched The Flash after it came out digitally. Mm-hmm. You know, I I got it and everything, and I was like, I watch it once or twice a week. Mm-hmm. I couldn't stop. I feel the way the same way about Godzilla minus one because there's different layers to it that I keep seeing. Every time I watch it, because I've seen it like three times already. My problem with minus one is my opposite problem, or my my love for minus one is what I hate about the Flash, and what I love about the Flash, what I hate about minus one. I oh, think the Flash I had see. an incredible story, yes, with some incredible acting, but, but the visuals are shit, effects, yeah. And I think minus one had an I hate story with some incredible visual effects. So it's like, man, yeah, it's but but for a Godzilla movie, this might be like. Shakespeare. Oh, you this know is what Shakespearean. I mean? This is yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm like. It, it sounds like I'm dogging it, and that's no, just because no. this is coming from a guy yeah, I who watches not. all kinds of freaky ass films yeah. from all around the world. So th- this is coming from a guy who, who can, has a lot to compare it to. I'm still telling you, this is a good film. I'm still telling yeah. you, you should go see it. Like, if you don't let what I'm saying about the story turn you off at all because you're still gonna have a good time it's still a good story and there's still very compelling parts within the human characters but like i said my favorite relationship was between doc captain and the main dude. yeah the, the three of them they felt like the jaws crew yeah yeah because they were they're like Damn, this movie's a lot more like jaws than i realized yeah <laughs> like, yeah shit. it's like if jaws was godzilla this real is shit this jaws. is way more god i've I mean, never godzilla has jaws he does he got some jaws yeah right man and he has like fin type things that are yeah. we're above the water and he can swim in the water and yeah dude, like like you said when he's chasing the boat and he's oh. slowly moving behind him yeah he's, he's like michael myers he is he it's ain't gotta like, run but yeah, he's, he's just, always gonna be on your ass yeah he's like I, i'll get there uh, eventually yeah <laughs> i'm cool i'm cool they yeah. as soon as i get there they're gonna get scared they're gonna screw up yeah, one of them's gonna run, trip over a stick. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like, it, it is, yeah. it is a very incredible feat. I give, I give all the people involved nothing but credit. Kudos, y'all did a good job. Y'all did. So, what grade would you give it? Would you give it a minus one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give minus one a B. What? A solid B. Solid I'm B. Give it a solid B. So like an 85. 85 percent. Okay. If I'm grading just visuals, it gets. A plus with extra credit. Yeah. Uh, action and visuals, A plus with extra credit. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, because even like the the scenes with like 
The boats versus Dude, I almost said versus great. Jaws. Is the what cinematography I is insane. Yeah, yeah, like, and you know the boats probably aren't even there. Hell no, and, and it looks real as fuck, man. And, I, and I'm assuming like they probably weren't even on the water. You know mm, what I mean? Like no way. Like so, yeah, you're right. The effects really make, especially those scenes between those three or mm-hmm. the four guys, because with the pilot there, you have the pilot and everything. It's like, yeah, it it is. That's really the the human story. I think is there. Their struggle, because even when you find out Doc was actually a big wig in the government, like during the war too, mm-hmm. he's looking for redemption too. Everybody, everybody is Everybody's looking for redemption. Yeah, that's, that's why I was like, bro, we didn't need this weird side story where he has a random chick and kid around well, and stuff. Th- that's the, the like heart of it is in the the guys on the boat. That's like the 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 Michael Bay Pearl Harbor. It, yo, he yes, the Titanic Rose yeah, and yeah, Jack. Like, yes, which yes. Means, like. And okay, in Titanic, I guess you need them because they do carry it. But like Pearl Harbor, my yeah, God, that was just so that. poorly executed. If, if you would just like Saving Private Ryan, this film, it Bro, would be great. You Saving Private Ryan minus one, minus one, about to be the best action movie ever made. Yeah, like, <laughs> it yo, could be. it could be. It could I, be and yeah. I, I'm like, I'm not even big into like monster shit like this. Yeah, I me love either. Love this monster. Yeah. Yeah. The, the way I think because you can tell the love they put into it. Yep. You really can. And yeah. that's what a lot of people say. They're like, you can feel it while you're watching it, what yeah. these guys did and how much they cared about it. Yeah. And I appreciate that so much. I love that. I would love to sit, if I spoke Japanese, I would love to sit in their fucking room and just listen to them yeah. shoot ideas back and forth and just see how they work. They, they probably had the craziest storyboards of all time, bro. Like, And they grew up with Godzilla. So there's probably a love of the character. And and it showed through, basically, mm-hmm. yeah. And dude, like not like the was, human characters, they no, didn't love them. No. But the love of Godzilla, you could feel it. That's what I was like when they all came up with their toys and they all had yeah. like a different color. I was like, yeah. That's I'm like, I want the gold one. I was like, yeah. I want the gold. But yeah, so what's your grade? You know what? I would I would probably say Go ahead, give it an A. I know you want to. Yeah, I was gonna say, but uh a lower A, but still an A. I'm like, I, and I can't, and I don't fault Nin- you for that at all. Ninety-three, maybe. Yep, and I don't, and I can't, I can't knock anybody for for giving it that. If someone gave it a plus, I can feel it. A lot of bro, I'm, let's see how many five stars it has on Letterbox before we wrap it up here. Okay, because it, I know it's got a ton of uh, ratings. Because I wonder if they're looking at it as like the the post World War Two kind of how do we move ahead with our lives story Yep. or the, how the hell do we fight Godzilla story? Mm-hmm. Cause there's two different stories. Yep, there really is. There is two different stories. Yeah. And like, I think you could have tightened it up, cut it to about hour 40 and just put more of the focus on fighting God. Cause it is a Godzilla movie. Yeah. And that's it's how Godzilla it starts. Movie. Yes. The film starts with the guy seeing Godzilla and not being able to do anything. And then the rest of it is his dread with, you know, he's probably going to come after me. That's what mm-hmm. I felt like his, that's what his PTSD was. Yes. It wasn't like I was in the war and I no, did shit. He's you like, didn't do bro, shit. He's like, I saw this fucking big ass thing whipping dudes yeah. around like yeah. no other. And he was right next to me. He stared at me. Stared at me. Right, stared bro. into my soul. He did, bro. Yeah. No. And like, it was something Godzilla, he felt a connection to him. Yeah. Because there was many times he could have killed him. And he did. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing because, he could have trashed their little boat. Oh my god! So and, he, quick. and he turned and went for the bigger he one. He did, and he chased them slowly, mm-hmm. like giving them a chance. He to... did. I was like, he had a connection with the pilot. So yeah. I don't know what it was. I don't know if there's some. I don't know. Maybe he saw a bit of itself in him or something. Because yeah. I think Godzilla is far more intelligent than people probably realize. Oh, he has to. So be. yeah, so I'm like, he's smart. He knows how to. He's a, his strategies are incredible. Yeah, he knows or, exactly how to move. Or as I told you earlier, he or she. We or she, really, yeah. There's we, no genitalia. That's what I have no idea what God, God's the, you know, yeah. I just, you know, I'm just calling him a he because, you know, just yeah. whatever. He just feels like a woman wouldn't be this destructive. I don't know. Well, he could be PMS. He could. You never know. You never know. <laughs> he might be. You never know. Because we don't know if there's a Mr. Godzilla if Godzilla right? is female. And Mr. Godzilla may just pissed her off. He's right. He might have. Right. Yeah. She's like, you know what? He left the Fuck toilet him. seat up yep. again. He left the giant toilet seat up again. <laughs> my tail got stuck. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kim. And all he wants is tail. Yep. That's all he, <laughs> all he wants is tail. Chase the tail. All right. So 320,000 people have rated it. Wow. It has a 4.2 out of those 320,000. 76,000 gave it a five stars. Wow. 
69.4 gave it a four and a half. Wow. And 85,000 gave it a four. That's wow. pretty good. Yeah, That's pretty yeah. good. You know, so like wow. it looks like no one really dipped under a three very much. Well, you know, though, when they make a sequel, one, like we said, they can get into the action, do a lethal weapon, two. Yep. They have way more money. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say they throw more money at them oh, because yeah. it made like a hundred plus million. Yeah, and that's ten times its budget. Hell yeah! So, Especially over, dude. They were saying like minus one is really good for films everywhere for like its success. It's like it's gonna open the door for a lot of these smaller budget films to like get real promotion. So I'm like, that's awesome. It's great. It's great. So you gave it a all right. Yeah. So well, a B isn't bad. Oh no! It's like I said. I was like, dude, it's not a bad movie at all. Yeah. Like I, I do understand your, uh, your criticism. I just wanted more Godzilla, dude. And that's that's honestly what it is. That's really my main complaint. The and, story is fine. I just and if the pilot would have been as good of an actor as like Doc. Oh my god, Doc that's what was I was great. Like, he got out acted by everyone around him. <laughs> yeah, that's he what did, I was like, bro. He did. He literally, it was the Keanu Reeves effect. Like, oh my yeah, let's god, put Keanu right. Reeves in a movie with Gary Oldman and Anthony Hopkins and he's, tell him to hold his own. He's the Japanese version of Keanu he's Reeves. He really is. Right. That's what I'm like, bro. Right. Keanu Reeves has been thrown into so many situations <laughs> with far superior actors around him. Yes. He just, he gotta just roll, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, You're right. But it, it took, like, once Keanu found his footing and he realized, okay, this is the type of actor I am. Yeah, if I these are my that, strengths. We're good. Yep. And, yeah. And yeah. now he can work with anyone because he knows yeah. what to do. But yeah. So what? What are we thinking for next week? I don't know. How about you choose? Because all I, right, leave me a minute. Yeah, because I, uh, I, you've been conceding to to me the past couple. Yeah, weeks. you've conceded to me. That's what yeah. we do. That's what yeah. we do. All right, I'll pick. Yeah, you. Let, I do kind of want, but dude, I am like I the trier train, like, right? I, the true train the true camera, train. but I am. I do want us to cover *Lethal Weapon* at some point. You know, what, dude, it's a great film, hey, dude. Like uh, now, we gotta do all four, not four different episodes. But I think no, we but gotta yeah, cover them all in one. Yeah, because if you think about it, same actors, at mm-hmm. least uh, it's pretty much the same actors. Same dude. actors, same director, same director. That's and, what, that's the beauty. Yeah, same yeah. Actors. So it's we rare. can. So we can actually like love on richard donner a yep, little bit too. oh and you know we love richard yeah, donner yeah. around here man yeah so. so we can love on richard donner and it's cool because like he got to grow with danny glover and mel gibson throughout all them years yeah because we went from what 87 to 98 i think so yeah, yeah, yeah. So i'm like that's a, basically 10 years you got to spend with these guys yeah and hell even renee russo you know what i mean oh she's yeah in three she, or four yeah and joe pesci's in three or four yeah so i'm like you that's know right that's what i'm like it's pretty much the same characters so I'm like, yeah, yeah and and danny glover's family is the same they're the same yeah yep. i'm yeah. like yeah that's crazy the, wow. his Murtaugh's family's great i'm yeah. like dude i'm like yeah i'm like shit danny glover would have been a cool dad to have back in the day i would have <laughs> took him bro he was a chill cop dad yeah you know, i'm like shit i'll take it, it i'm too old for this i'm shit. too old for shit. <laughs> even though he's playing like 10 years older than he actually yeah. was like because he's like i'm too old for this and he takes his shirt off i'm like bro he's fucking pretty jacked yeah <laughs> i'm like danny glover you're way in way yeah. better shape than i expected but all right guys fuck it so well, we won't finalize it here, but something good. We we'll either jump on the Trier train. I might have to put him on the Trier train. I might have to blow his head up. Okay, but <laughs> guys, thank you. I'm Dom. I'm Jamie, and this is the Cutting Room Four.